told that I was going to work on a dangerous snail. It's actually my second week um, working at the New York field office. And I went to a all biologist conference and I got to meet everyone pretty much in the region on the same day. And a, a woman came running up to me and said, what are you gonna do about the snail? And I didn't know what she was talking about. I said, I don't even know what species you're talking about, but she knew it was already assigned to me. So I was um, surprised that I'd be working with snail. I started working with the Chitnango Ovi Amber Snail about 11 years ago. Um, back then, we didn't know how many snails there were. A few of the counts were very low, maybe 15 snails or something. And we had a captive breeding program and the last snails had just died when I got hired. And so we had to kind of regroup to figure out what to do with the species. And we formed a recovery team and we wrote a recovery plan. And then we have a whole group of partners that have been working together ever since on the species. Well, the Chitnango elevate amber snail is New York State's most endangered species. And it's an invertebrate. And I, I, what I enjoy is, is publicizing the fact that it's not just large mammals and birds that are endangered, but also invertebrate organisms are endangered as well. And I enjoy being out here in the field, uh, the camaraderie, the people I've met have been fantastic, and I think it's a, a really worthwhile project. The most enjoyable part about coming out here every other week for the past since 2002, with a few exceptions, has been just being able to have a role in saving an endangered species and again making people aware of the fact that it is an endangered species and we've probably contributed to being endangered and have an obligation to reverse that.